Hello there, Spicy Cat Jams, and I am doing my first vlog. I've been inspired by so many fabulous vloggers out there and just been dragging my feet, so I'm like, I'm starting. What am I starting? I'm doing it on water exercise night. So somebody just pulled up next to me. They already know I'm wackadoodle. Got my shades on, got a pull cool little lip balm. There we go. Thank you to my dentist. Ooh, big goop, did you see that? Um, they have the best bone, and they give it to me every time I get my teeth cleaned. So, okay, I'm off to water exercise. I'll check in with you when I'm done. Hey there, back to the vlog. I finished water exercise, and I was gonna say that the instructor kicked my ass today, but she did the same routine she always does, but I kicked my own ass tonight, and um, I'm feeling it. I really worked hard on a lot of the moves to feel it, and the abs, and, um, I actually thought I was going to have to leave class because I felt like I was going to vomit. I'm like, seriously, I do not want to be that person that pukes in the pool because I've worked at places with pools and nobody wants to be the one <laughs> that has to be the reason the entire pool closes. Anyway, so um, I had a great workout. It's about... Um, eight o'clock on a Thursday now so I'm gonna head home figure out what I'm gonna have for supper and um, yeah kind of chillax the rest of the night so I'm just I'm pretty proud of myself I really was almost gonna talk myself out of going tonight sorry I just realized that I'm really moving the phone a lot mm, sorry um, anyway yeah I was gonna go home and and skip the workout so I'm glad I didn't we still have this um, funky kind of red Sun can you see it right there not sure if it'll show but um there's been some wildfires up in Canada that the smoke is reaching all the way down here in southern Minnesota and giving us some like you know you'd think we'd live in the giant like LA like smog city or something but we've um, had some air quality um, makes my asthma act up which I don't enjoy but um, keeping it under control and it gives us a really cool looking Sun so um, let's go see what's for supper I'll be back okay here's what I came up with for supper I got some leftover hot dog buns so I made some sandwiches just with a little mayo um, summer sausage from our meat market and some queso fresco which is awesome if you've never tried it and a few little crispy onions I got a sugar-free jello for dessert and this grapefruit. I don't think I'm going to eat it for supper tonight, but I want to get it peeled and ready so then I can have it um, for breakfast tomorrow. And then it's not as messy when I'm sitting at my desk and want to eat it if I already have it prepped. So here's supper. Um, what do you guys have this fine Thursday night? Comment, let me know. Good morning, it is Friday. Woohoo! I'm on my way to work. I got like, you know, a two to three minute commute. So if it's called a commute, got my morning shake that I will enjoy and my grapefruit that I cleaned up last night. So I got a good breakfast ready and ready to knock out this last day of the work week. I was off um, just about two full weeks for um, family celebration planning. My um, in-laws had their 50th wedding anniversary. I should have been vlogging about that, but um, it was pretty amazing. And then um, I tr had to travel to, um, to one of my best friend's home. Her mother passed away, so that happened right afterwards. So I ended up taking almost two full weeks off of work. So this week has been kicking my butt um, almost as much as water aerobics last night. But, um, ooh, check, this is what a traffic jam in my town looks like. Look at that. Ooh, I want to turn right. They're all turning left. But, and we have construction going on, and the detour goes right by our house. So, the road by my house is now the main flow of traffic, which, um, you know, it must add at least 30 seconds to my commute. So, anyway... Ready to start the day, ready for Friday. I think I'm having a date night tonight with um, the hubbies. At least he said we were, but we'll see if he remembers or not. Sometimes I think he's older than me as far as being forgetful. But anyway, I hope you are going to have a blessed day. I'll check in with you again later. Hello, I'm back. I'm on my lunch break. 
Let's see how this works. Um, <laughs> sorry, you're getting the uh, steering wheel as I turn. Um, get out of the parking lot here at work. And I'm gonna go do my lunch errands. It is getting very steamy out. We've had a nice cool week. I've had the house open. The kitties have loved it. We've um, got my window open now. Hopefully it's not too much wind noise, but it is supposed to get hot and steamy. Of course, just in time for the weekend. So um, that means parade tomorrow for my hubby. I'm gonna be, if I go, finding some shade. But um, yeah, I'm starting to glow. It won't be long before the hair gets put up. So, um, lunch break. We're gonna go to my favorite place, the post office, because I love to see what's in the mail. Um, fingers crossed that it's fun stuff and not bills. And then I need to go stop by a friend's house quick to um, get some things for her. Um, actually, oh. <laughs> Hey, guess what happens when you don't have a holder and you just use the dash? Anyway, um, she wants me to order her some Stampin' Up! stuff, so I'm gonna do that. And she, I figured out her total, so she's just gonna pay me ahead of time, so I don't have to mess with credit cards, because we are working our butts off to get those um, cleaned up. I just realized that since I started vlogging, which is, you know, since yesterday, I think I've referred to working my butt off. This is probably the third time, so, you know, I'd expect the butt to be getting smaller so if that were if I could literally work my butt off but anyway so that's what we're doing heading on out to the post office okay I'm here I had to wait for the crazy local guy to leave let's see what do we got oh, oh it's a good day oh my goodness look at all this fun mail Ooh, my Walmart beauty box. Ooh, this is work stuff. Okay. Plus, there's another package. Go over to these. And what do we got in the parcel? But yeah, I'm a happy girl. I don't know what this is. Oh, my Bath and Body Works order. Oh, I'm excited. I think I got some hauls coming up. Okay, just finished at the post office. Talked to my good friend, the postmaster. Showed off my Walmart box. I'll show that in a video. It's hot. I'm doing the crank the hair up in the back of my head as I'm leaving my um, friend's house. Visited with her. And um, yeah, let's head back to work. Yeah, I'm not around for lunch yet today. I always have stuff, you know, in the food drawer at work. Does, ever, does anybody else do that? Do you have like the food drawer at work? I, um, you know, granted, I live in town, very close to where I work, but um, I usually don't take a full lunch break. I never take my full hour. Usually I always just sit and eat at my desk. So I keep, you know, some whatever, frozen meals in the freezer, um, lunch in a box, I call it, and also some, um, I think I got like a mac and cheese thing or, you know, quick, easy microwave stuff. So, do I want that or do I want something else? I'm not sure. Okay, bear with me. Nobody's coming. I'm going to show you what we're dealing with in my town. We got construction. So, thankfully it's not on my side of town but it, um, it's kind of made it a tricky. And you know, the funny thing is, if you don't know me or where I live, my town's like 2,500 people. Small town. You know, the most exciting thing was about a year ago, one of the gas stations um, stayed open 24 hours. That was a huge deal. I moved here from um, the Twin Cities because that's where my husband, my, my now husband lives. And I had waited forever to live in the cities. I always joked that um, I was born in Detroit and somehow that imparted into my genes. And then when I was like six months old, my family moved back to rural North Dakota. And I grew up out in the country, small town. 
and I could not wait to get back to the big city. Finally moved there in my early 30s. I don't think I was even there for two years, maybe two years before um, I ended up coming back to small town land, which is fine, you know, we do what we do for love. So, the railroad track, and um, yeah. Huh. Anyway, so it took an adjustment. It's like, if you needed anything after 10 o'clock in my town, good luck. You better go, like, bother wake the neighbors up out of bed because there was no place open. The whole town, you know, what do they say, rolls up rolls up the streets. That's what happens, so. I'm going to turn. I'll give you a look. Here's the other look at our construction. That's kind of our main drag through town. So, um, obviously... We got construction. So I think I'm gonna stop at one of my favorite little gas station convenient marts and see what their special is today because I'm hot, I'm sweating if you can't tell, and it says it's only, see Charlie here says it's 68. Well if it's 68 I'd say, you know, I'm at about 20 degrees with the humidity. So I don't even want a microwave, I just want to eat my lunch that's already made. So let's stop in here and see what we have to choose from for lunch today. Huh. Yesterday was funny, I was pulled in here and um, my bosses came in. They had gone, they go out to eat every day and they'd stopped in to get ice cream for dessert. So I thought it was kind of funny. Anyway, okay, let's go see what they got. Okay, let's see what I got. I was gonna film in the store, but um, the cashier was super chatty, so I got all chatty with her and didn't want to try and explain. Let's just say not too many people around here know what vlogging is, but I got a beef enchilada. This place makes these fresh every day. They do enchiladas, burritos, and I don't know, tacos. So I tried the enchilada, and I took a cue from my bosses and got some ice cream, and I got a sucker, because I might want some. And then look, here's where I work. Look at our super sad, sad, sad parking lot. Our um, company, the company I work for, has been hit very badly by the bird flu situation. And um, we actually had to close down my plant that I work at. I work in the office, so that's not, oh, there's my coworker's bike. But um, anyway, I work in the office, and I'll show you lunch while I park here. And so we're fine, but um, there's like, I don't know, 15 of us maybe that um, work here in the offices in a facility that, you know, runs production with hundreds of people. So I'm a little worried. I'm not sure how long they're going to let us stay here or when we're going to reopen the production. Um, yeah, it's a pretty scary time for all of us because nobody's job is guaranteed. But anyway, I was going to show you. See, it's only 68. But it's hotter than that. So, anyway, I'm going to go back into work, have my lunch, and um, I'll check in with you later after work. Okay, I am finally done with work. I had to stay a little late to get all my hours in at 6.30. Hubby got home early, so I am on my way to pick up a bag of ice from my same favorite place I got my lunch. Um, it's on the way home. And then he, I'm going to see what he has for date night. Um, we talked about it. I think he forgot because I asked him about date night. And um, I'm pretty sure he got some movies from the library and picked up some Chinese food. So, better than nothing, but we'll have a real date sometime other later. But going to run and get some ice. I will um, show you what we have for supper and date night when I get home. Hey there, just a quick um, somber good night to the vlog tonight. Um, date night was um, was fine. I came home and like I expected, Honey had some, some movies and brought home supper. But what wasn't so wonderful was the news that um, someone, a friend of ours in our small community lost his life today. Um, the construction area I, I sh was showing earlier, there was um, a, tra a tragic, tragic accident. Basically, our friend was riding his bike um, and was killed. I, I don't need to get into the details, but um, 
not what I wanted for my first vlog, but um, just wanted to let you know. And I uh, just, yeah, I'm I'm calling it a night. Um, our community here is is hurting pretty bad, so um, we'll see if I vlog it tomorrow or not. But um, good night. I just stopped to sign the um, the sign here for our friend. This is the spot where the truck finally stopped after it dragged him all along this road. Um, so there will be a service Monday night here, just a gathering of the community and friends before the formal arrangements later this week. But he was loved by many including my husband and I. Good morning! It is actually Monday. I did not vlog Saturday or Sunday. Kind of bummed after my last um, entry. Um, couldn't stop thinking about our friend. Um, sorry, I know the lighting's going to be off because I'm driving into sun on the way to work. But um, anyway, going to make the most of today. They're going to have a... Um, kind of little vigil memorial service tonight for the community um, at the site of the accident. So, um, see if I if I have the uh, heart to stop by there. Otherwise, um, I didn't do much this weekend. I stayed inside. It was very hot and humid, which for me is very hard. I has, have asthma and um, the humidity really makes me, um, makes it difficult to breathe. So, Thankfully, there aren't too many days like that um, where I live in Minnesota, but um, today's going to be another one. Temperatures are supposed to be around 90 with, um, depending on the area, 70, 70 to 90% humidity, which makes it feel like over 100 degrees. Besides the fact, it feels like you're living in a giant armpit. So um, today may be another just stay inside day. We'll see. Um, how my breathing goes but anyway I wanted to say good morning and I think I might actually just try and get this uploaded and post my first vlog um, I'm sure I could do these mini snippets forever and never get around to posting it so I think I might just try it because I kind of like it and I just want to I don't know see if anybody out there cares if anybody enjoys my little vlogs so I hope all of you have a blessed day week month whatever it is when you're um, viewing this and um, just don't take anything for granted we never know what tomorrow may bring let alone what the next hour may bring so um, until my next one talk to you later